Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at factors that determine the slope of the uh, IS curve. So this is simply a continuation from our previous discussion with regard to the construction of the IS curve. So we want to know uh, what factors that determine the slope of the IS curve, whether our IS curve would be flatter or steeper. Now to do this, uh, there are basically two factors okay, that will affect uh, the slope of the IS curve. The first one will be the slope of the investment curve, where the slope of investment curve, like we know, it depends on the interest elasticity of investment. In other words, how sensitive our investment is to any change in the interest rate. Now, this is uh, basically how our investment uh, curve going to look like. Um, it is downward sloping, okay, uh, and this is what we have discussed uh, so many times before. Uh, because um, you can look at this from the point of view uh, by uh, by looking at interest rate, okay, to be a kind of a cost uh, for investment. When the cost is high, lower amount of uh, investment will be uh, and, uh, demanded by uh, the firm. While when interest rate is low, uh, there will be a greater amount of investment. Now, uh, the change, okay, um, of um, investment uh, that follows a change in the interest rate would basically be the uh, interest rate elasticity of investment. For example, in this case, okay, in this uh, example, it seems that um, the change in investment is more or less similar to the change in interest rate where we may have, uh, we may have a different situation where, for example, uh, our interest, uh, our investment is not really that sensitive. Okay, as you can see uh, in this example, uh, when interest rate change by a big amount, okay, the change in R is big, but uh, the change in investment is is, rel is relatively smaller. Okay, so in this case, this is an example where uh, our interest elasticity of investment is very low. In other words, our investment is not sensitive to change in interest rate. Now, the second factor that's going to affect the slope of the IS curve will be the slope of our savings curve. Okay, and the slope of our saving curve basically depends on the size of the marginal propensity to save because whenever income goes up, the household will basically separate uh, the, the income into two functions, into two purposes. A portion of it they will use as consumption and a portion of it they will simply save. So if uh, the society have a bigger marginal propensity to save, so that means um, uh, their saving schedule going to be steeper. Uh, steeper as a small increase uh, in, in, in income would basically lead to a bigger change in saving. Okay, so now let's uh, simply um, uh, have a look. Okay, um, the, the what would be the slope of the uh, IS curve when uh, the, the uh, our investment is uh, not sensitive? So when investment is not sensitive to change in interest rate, we're going to have a steeper investment curve. And that would lead, uh, that would give us a steeper IS curve. While when the, uh, our investment is very sensitive to changes in interest rate, our investment curve going to be flat. And uh, correspondingly, our IS, IS curve will also be flat. Okay. So let's see if we can uh, just try to um, uh, do that. So let's just start with, um, um, let's say, uh, sensitive. Okay. So let's say this is a, uh, a relatively flat uh, investment curve. Okay, as you can see, um, a, a small change in interest rate. Okay, going to lead to a big change in in investment. So let me just put here. This is our example for high uh, R elasticity. Okay, high R elasticity. Okay. Um, so while all other, so this is our typical saving so let's say our first uh, focus now is to look at the investment okay our investment uh, curve uh, slope okay and see how this one will affect our uh, slope of is curve okay so this is our uh, saving Okay, so let's just try to uh, pick up two points so that we can just uh, quickly draw uh, the IS curve. So let's say we pick up, uh, this is the first point. Okay, so let's say this is uh, R0. Uh, okay, so at R0, this will be I0. Okay, uh, big, uh, high level of investment. 
and uh, in order to find the equilibrium so this will be the corresponding saving level which is needed okay let's just assume that okay i need to extend my saving shadow a bit further down and let's say this is the corresponding uh, income level so this would be the first point on our is curve okay and uh, let's pick up another point okay where uh, interest rate is now higher okay at r1 okay so this would be i1 and the product market must be in equilibrium so this is our s1 and correspondingly this would be our y1 so we have another point over here and we can just connect these two points and this is our is curve okay our is curve when uh, with the high uh, interest rate elasticity okay so let's say this is uh, i'll put this to be um, is uh, zero okay now what happened when uh, let's say the uh, our investment okay has now become more sensitive okay more sensitive to uh, interest rate okay more sensitive to interest rate so let's say now instead of the blue line okay so this is the new okay investment uh, shadow investment curve in the case of um, uh, low okay no, no longer sensitive uh, low interest rate elasticity okay so when the, um, our investment okay are no longer uh, sensitive okay to 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 the changes okay in the um, uh, in uh, interest rate okay so when interest rate goes up from r0 okay to r1 okay from r0 to r1 so now instead of i1 okay let me just put the new level of investment when the investment is no longer sensitive so let's call this point um, i1 prime okay i1 prime so now at i1 prime investment have basically reduced by a smaller amount compared to a previous case okay in in that regard okay now the product market has to be in equilibrium so correspondingly we're going to have s1 prime over here okay which going to correspond to okay basically um, uh, a relatively uh, lower okay income level but not as low as y1 before okay so now we have another uh, um, combination okay at r1 so i can i will extend this further and this will be the new point so we can simply connect this okay so the red line is now our is uh, um, i'll put here is1 curve okay which basically um, uh, gonna be the result when the, we have a low uh, interest rate uh, elasticity okay, of uh, investment okay um, so uh, you can see that the slope of the is curve correspond exactly uh, to the slope of uh, the investment curve now let's have a look at the uh, the other factor okay so now let's have a look at the um, mps okay mps okay the marginal propensity to save so let's say we're going to start with the um, again so let's say this is our investment schedule air and this is the so we're going to start with a relatively flat okay a uh, low uh, mps okay very low mps let's say this is um something that looks like this okay and this is our saving shadow okay our saving shadow okay when the mps okay is big oh sorry uh, mps is small in this case huh? mps is small yeah um so let's just uh, choose um Two points as what we have done uh, previously okay so when interest rate is r0 okay so this will correspond to i0 and we need to have equilibrium in the product market so this is s0 which would then correspond to uh, this level of income at y0 so now we have one point and 
when interest rate changes uh, when interest rate changes so let's see what happens when we now uh, have a higher interest rate at r1 okay so at r1 your corresponding investment value will be i1 okay and we have saving at s1 and uh, our income level will fall down to y1 okay so now we have another point and this will be our is curve Okay, our IS curve. I'm going to put this one to be IS0 when we have a small MPS. Now, let's see what happens when the, um, our marginal propensity to save, okay, has uh, gone up, okay, has become bigger. Okay, in this case, basically, our saving schedule, okay, our saving schedule would be very steep. Okay, it would be very steep. Okay, I'm going to use the red color. So, this red color basically represents our saving, okay, when MPS is high okay it's high as you can see when income level goes up by small amount saving gonna go up by a bigger amount okay so basically what happened is now that okay uh, when interest rate changes from r0 to r1 now instead of y1 okay instead of y1 the equivalent change okay in in income that need to support this uh, drop in saving okay is now uh, would come from a smaller drop okay in income level at y1 prime over here okay because this now correspond to the uh, new level of say uh, the, the 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 new uh, uh, curve uh, the new saving curve uh, so now that we need this amount of saving in order to ensure that the product market would be in equilibrium okay due to the increase in the interest rate but income level only have to drop by a smaller amount compared to previous case compared to the previous case because now uh, people are more sensitive uh, more or less more sensitive to changes in uh, in in income uh, with regard to the um, uh, saving and uh, the quant the amount of saving that they want to do so when income level drop by this amount they're only going to drop uh, they are saving by a bigger amount okay due to a higher level of mps so now that we're going to have uh, 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 another a new combination okay between r1 and y1 prime and this will be the is curve okay put here one in the case where mps is now high as you can see uh, when our saving schedule is steep uh, correspondingly the is curve will also be uh, steep okay um i think um that's all for now i hope uh, you are now uh, uh, clear uh, on how uh, how this uh, these two factors uh, the slope of the investment curve and the slope of the saving uh, curve would uh, basically determine uh, the slope of the is curve thank you assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh